Welcome back. This is part two of the monkey baby security blanket tutorial. So you should have your blanket made. Two arms, the eyes, the mouth, and two ears. So to get started, we're going to start assembling the face. So go ahead and get your eyes. And we're going to need to weave in this starting yarn tail here. Just go ahead and weave them in. And then snip it free. And do the same to the other one. Okay, so next go ahead and get your mouthpiece and you can just trim this starting yarn tail a little bit shorter. Now when you put the mouth on, you're going to want your yarn tail to be on bottom. So just kind of stretch it out and hold it in front of you like that. And then we're going to place the eyes. just like this. So you want them touching and you want them about on row two of the eye part. So you're going to have to attach these one at a time. So take one of the eyes and put a yarn needle on the yarn tail. So then hold them both in place again, just so you're getting them attached where you want them. And then just go through the back of the eye. And into the mouth. So you can put the other eye down. And you're just going to keep attaching. And hold up. Make sure that's good. And that's still where I would want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do just another pass through. And go through the back of the eye and through a stitch of the mouth. And I'm just working my way back down to the edge here. And that's one eye attached. So I'm going to take this yarn tail to get it out of the way and I'm going to knot off on a stitch of the eye. Actually it's better if you look from behind and just knot off on a stitch that you can't see from the front. And then take your yarn tail and just weave it through the eye. And 
and then you can cut it. And now we're going to attach the other eye in the same way. So make sure again when you hold it that your yarn tail is on the bottom. And just check out your eye. Make sure it matches. And then you're just going to attach it the same way. And now I'm going to work my way back up. To where the two eyes meet. And I'm going to go through and go into the other eye. So I just went through the mouth into this eye, and I'm going to go through this eye, the next eye, and back through the mouth. Just to kind of pull them close together. Now I'm going to go through the mouth and out the back of the eye one more time. And I'm going to knot off in the back of the eye. I'm going to weave this yarn tail through the eye and snip it free. And now your eyes are attached to your mouth. So the only yarn tail you should have should be attached to the bottom of the mouth. And this will but be what we use to attach the whole face to the monkey. So let's go ahead and give this face eyes and a nose. So grab your black crochet thread or really thin black yarn and go ahead and put a long strand on a yarn needle. And we're going to start with the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm working in this row or this space in between rows one and two. So here's the very center of that starting circle. I'm gonna go directly over from it and come through the back and pull through. And then make sure you stop before pulling the end tail through. And then my eyes I like to do them like this. So I'm going to go directly above this circle and pull through here. And then a directly across from where I started to come through, I'm going to pop through again. And then go back through the top. So you got this kind of like start of a triangle. And I'm going to double up. So just go through this bottom corner again. Back up through here. And then I'm going to go in where I very first started and then right back through the top. 
So I hope I'm explaining this okay for you. There you go. So there's one of the eyes. Now, not too tightly, tie these together. I knot them a few times so the eye stays. And if you have different ways of doing eyes, you can do different ways. But this is how I did my monkey. Cut that. And I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. Okay, so there's one eye. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and try to get it as close to the same as I possibly can. Okay, so now I got both eyes made. So let's go ahead and move on to the nostrils. Okay, so for the nostrils, I like to do them around row three. So you see one, two, three, this is row three. And I'm gonna pop out, try to go about where this eye, this corner of this eye is. So you see, as close to that as I can. And you're going to pop out in the space between rows three and four. So how there's row one, row two, row three, row four, you're going to pull out right at that space. And then you're going to go up just one row in between rows two and three. And just like that. So you're wrapping around row three. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Make sure not to lose your starting yarn tail. And you can leave it like that if you want, or you can double up. I'm going to go ahead and double up. Now I'm going to go back on the other side and double up again. Just like that. And I'm going to tie these strands together just like I did with the eyes. And now we're going to go ahead and you can put a smile if you want or you can't, but I'm going to go ahead and put a smile on. Okay, for the smile, we're going to be working in the space between rows two and three. So the starting circle here is row one, two, and here's row three. So this space here is where we're going to work. So you can just pop in 
wherever you want the smile to start. Pull through, just like we did with the eyes and the nose. And then just go down a stitch. Now you're gonna pop out a head of where you went in. And then go back down. And then just continue doing this. until you get to the other side. Okay, and that's about even, and I want to double up on this, so I'm just going to start working backwards now. Okay, so I'm going to smile on my monkey's maid. I'm going to go ahead and tie these two strings together. Okay, so here is your face. So now let's go ahead and attach it. So you're going to get a little bit of stuffing. I like to roll it in a little ball. Get it in here. Okay, so now take your monkey head 
and you need to choose whether you want your monkey to be like a square blanket or if you want it to be diagonal. But however you choose, if you count down from the top, you're going to put your monkey right below row six, the face. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Your monkey face will go right below that. So this is where you would use pins and pin it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have my face pinned in place. If you can see, you count down one, two, three, four, five, six. It's right below row six. And I just got held in place with some pins. So now we can go ahead and attach it. Okay, so I'm going to go through this next stitch and straight down into the head and just pop out on the side. Okay, so if you see where I went in, I'm going to skip this next stitch. I'm going to go through the body and pop out to the stitch right in front of it. And now I'm going to go backwards and go down into that stitch that I skipped and pop out. Okay, so I came out of this stitch and went down into this stitch. Now I'm going to go through the head and pop out through the next stitch. And then again, I'm going to go backwards one stitch, go straight down into the head. And pull through. And then go back into the head and pop out the next stitch, which should be about where the eye meets the mouth. And then again, go backwards one. Okay, and now we're at the eye. So for the bottom part of the eye, we'll go ahead and pop through Right, the first stitch of the eye there. Now we'll go up one row and go down into the eye. Now when we attach the eye, I'm going to attach it in this row right here, but you got to do it light, like you can't pull on the string tight because then it'll make it look goofy. But if you don't like how that looks, you can attach it on this outer row. But when you attach it on the inside, it leaves this loose flap, which I just think looks really cute on the monkey. But if you don't want that, you can attach it. In this outer row and it'll just lay flat like that but as you attach it you have to make sure that you don't pull too tight 
but you're going to do the same method of going up through a stitch and then go backwards. Now see I pulled that too tight. See how it looks like there? Make sure that the black yarn isn't popping through. Okay, and then when you make it over to where the eyes meet, just go through the mouth. We're going to work our way over to the next eye. And then just attach it the same way we've been doing. And 
Let's make sure again that the black yarn isn't showing from the back of the eye as you sew on the face. All right, and now we're back to the mouth. So you're just gonna pop up through the mouth. And go down. Okay, and then back up through the mouth, and then we're going to go backwards again. Just one stitch. And then ahead. And then backwards again. Then we went ahead and then backwards. Head one and backwards. And that brings me to my starting stitch here. So take that. 
that through one more time. And then I'm going to come back up through the mouth. I'm just going to knot off. Down here to any stitch. And then I'm going to take this and go back through the head and out the bottom. And then snip it. Okay, so now your face is attached to your monkey. So let's go ahead and move on to attaching the ears. Okay, so the ears will be attached between rows six and seven, but what you wanna make sure is that the top of the ear ends up being a little bit above the top of the eye. So one, two, three, four, five, six, try spare six. And you want it to be in the middle of the head. Okay, so that looks pretty good, and it looks pretty good from the front. So mine looked good at row six. So once you get one ear in place, you can just eyeball the next ear. But before we pin the next ear on, I'm just going to go ahead and attach this ear because it'll make it so much more easy. So we're going to attach the ear the same way we've been attaching everything else. So I'm just going to go straight into the head, pop out nearby, then I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to go back and go through the ear. And then I'm going to go back in the head. But now I'm going to pop out at the bottom just to attach both ends of the ear to the head. So go up through the ear. And I'm going to go back down through the head in the same spot. Just so now the ear, both ends are secured. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the same way we have been. So go up and do a stitch of the ear. And go down through a stitch of the ear and into the head. and then go backwards and then go up through the ear and go backwards and then up into the next stitch go backwards and we'll go up 
and backwards. Okay, so now the ear is attached. Just go to a back stitch of the ear. And knot off on that stitch. And then take it back down through the head. To go out the bottom and snip it. And now you have one of your ears attached. So we're going to attach the next ear the same way. So this one. Eyeball it Okay So that is good there Okay, and then once you got your ear where it needs to be, we're going to go ahead and attach it. So again, you're just going to go straight into the head. And after you attach the top of the ear, go ahead and attach the bottom. And go right back into the hole you popped out of and you can go ahead and just double check your ears make sure one more last time that they're in a good place which mine are and now we're gonna attach them 
the same way we've been attaching everything else. Okay, and now when your ears attach, you just go to a stitch in the back. And knot off. And then go back through the head and out the bottom. So now you have both ears attached and your face attached. So that just leaves us with the arms. So let's go ahead and attach the arms. Okay, so with your arms, you're gonna want to stuff the bottom half. pretty much want a big nice circle and then just leave the upper arm free and do that with both of them
Okay. So I don't pin the hand or the arm down. I just kind of freehand it. You're going to attach the arm. Let's see if I can show you better. And this spur right here. So you can see this bottom row is where the blanket's attached. You're going to go up one. So blankets here, up one row. And how you can do this is you can either have your arms go straight out to the sides or you can have them kind of more in front a little bit. This monkey I made previously, I had them come up more. This monkey that I'm making now, I'm going to have them go to the side. So I'm going to attach mine. So it's like that. But whenever you decide where you want your arm to be, how I attach mine is I freehand it. I have it where I want it to be, which is directly on the side, in the middle of the ear. And I see where the arm touches the head. And I go ahead and just stick my yarn needle in right there. And then I pop out anywhere in the front. Because then I see where the arm needs to be in the front. And that works where I, it popped out. But if not, you can change it. So now, Both ends of the arm are attached. I just have to attach the rest of it. But you can see where it's going to be. Okay, so now I'm going to go right back into the head. And I'm going to pop out. It's better if you look from underneath right through the next stitch and then go through the bottom of the arm right through the front of the arm and then go right back through the head and this is all working in that same row and then pop out through the next stitch in that row and then go through the back of the arm out through the front of the arm, back into the head, and over one stitch. Through the back of the arm, out the front of the arm, back into the head, and move over one stitch. Through the back of the arm, out through the front of the arm, down into the head and over one stitch and then one last time you're going through the back of the arm and out the front of the arm and then just go back into the head one more time That's where you first attached. And now go back to any under stitch of the arm and knot off on it. And go right back through the body or the head and out through the bottom and snip so now you have one arm attached 
So now we're going to go ahead and attach the second arm in the same way. So I hope you guys were able to see, I know this yarn's kind of dark where I went through there, but I worked all in the same space. I was all working within this space. I went through the arm, back in this space, and just over a stitch. Through the arm, back into the space, and over a stitch. So to attach this arm, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to place it there and even it up with the other one make sure it looks right before we attach okay. and then you're gonna hold it up to the head and then go into the head where you think the arm is gonna place And then pop out. Anywhere in the back, because you can always move over. And just make sure it still looks good. over a few and grab through the bottom of the arm out through the top and go right back into that stitch or that space and go over one stitch. I'm going to look and just make sure the arm's still how I want it to be. And it is, so now I'm going to go ahead and fully attach it. So again, I'm going to go through the back of the arm, out through the front of the arm, going back into the head, flipping this over and just going over one stitch. through the back of the arm, out the front of the arm, go back in to the head and over one stitch. Through the back of the arm, out the front of the arm, back into the head and over one stitch. Through the back of the arm, out the front of the arm, back into the head, and over one stitch, which is where I started. Oops. So I'm just going to come up and grab the arm one more time. any of these back stitches and knot off and take it through the head and out the bottom snip it and now flip it over And here is your finished monkey. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. And if you did enjoy it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And check out my playlist because I have plenty of other 
videos of baby security blankets and stuffed animals. Also, I made a Facebook group called Kittens and Crochet where you can add pictures of creations you made using my pattern. So if you made this monkey and made it a little bit different or just want to show off how well you did, you can go ahead and join that group and add pictures for other subscribers to see. So thank you for watching.